Hello everyone, this is Chris and welcome to beta 1.16.200.52, the very first beta which includes caves and cliffs features. Now I should mention that there aren't any new generations or any new mountain generations or any new cave generations or anything like that yet. These are just some of the very first bare bone things which we will be seeing inside of the update, but yeah, let's get into it. But to check out these features, there's a... Uh, but to check out these features, there's a strange way in which you have to do it, because right down here, there's an option in experiments that says caves and cliffs. What you need to do is you need to activate that, and then you should have the caves and cliffs features. But yeah, let's go and check out, see what's inside this beta. So like I said, there aren't any new types of generations. These are the same old bog standard uh, mountains which we've seen for the longest time. There's only really a few little features, but it's exciting to finally start seeing the start of Caves and Cliffs coming in to betas and snapshots. So yeah, let's start with the very first mob which we've seen inside this update. The GOAT, the mob vote which we have voted on in last year's Minecon. Now these guys, for the most part, they're pretty pretty docile and things like that but they can get a little bit suspicious and if they're in the right mood they will start knocking mobs off of hills and we probably won't see it here but yeah they do have a tendency of uh knocking things down down the crevasses and other things like that and also sometimes they uh they do miss their mark and sometimes they do run into things like trees and if they do run into trees then you'll get a brand new type of item called the goat horn no idea what this looks like or no idea what this does but yeah a uh, brand new thing it probably be used for something in the future but it's exciting to see something like this also inside this beta we have a snowier snow aka powdered snow looks essentially the same as a normal snow but one key difference is that you will now sink into the snow if i am um, fly up and go down you can see i sort of sink into the snow and this could also be used for um blocks that aren't below it so if i build out a little pillar like this and fall into it you see i fall slowly into it it looks kind of weird when you're inside it oh i did not know this was a thing so when you're inside the block too you kind of get this um this weird sort of outline around it too which makes you really feel like you are inside of the snow kind of kind of cool type of a type of feature like this i kind of like it and if you don't want to sing through the uh through the powdered snow like usual then what you need to do is you need to equip yourself some leather boots that way you shouldn't have that issue so if we hop on it then yeah there we go then it will be just a normal type of block and it's a really cool type of a uh, functionality i can't think of what we could do with this yet but I'm excited to see what the community does does do with this type of thing. Oh, and there he goes, there he goes, there's the little guy jumping up. So yeah, he will jump up little little ledges a little bit um a little bit more than he should, but yeah, he does things like that and there he goes again. That's this is like coolest coolest mob thing I think I've seen so far. And we are only just starting with these betas. We are only just starting and I'm already so excited to see what they do with these types of mobs and what they do with the powdered snow and all this sorts of stuff. But yeah, for the most part, that's pretty much everything inside this beta, apart from like some bug fixes and other things like that. But for the main features, this is pretty much it so far. And like I said, this is just the very, the very start, the very bare bones type thing. We will be seeing more types of things with these goats and powdered snow, presumably in the future. And we will eventually see more crazy mountain generation hopefully taller mountain generation too and you know the cave features will be coming at some point in the future as well and yeah look forward to that but for now that's pretty much all i have for you so thanks for watching and i'll see you all later